Hello and welcome to the Kingpin Crime YouTube channel. Today's video features the English organised crime figure named Mr Big. Reportedly both feared and respected in his home city of Manchester, he was eventually involved in a bloody gang war that made news headlines all over Britain at the time due to the scale of murders and violence involved. Paul Massey was born on the 7th of January 1960 in Audsall and was brought up in the same area in Salford by his mother Rose and father John Massey. When Massey was aged just 12, he was arrested for criminal damage and sent to an approved school for troubled and difficult youth. It appeared that Massey was a legitimate businessman in the 1990s when he established several security companies. Through these businesses, however, Damien Noonan and his gang were able to control the doors of several Manchester-based nightclubs. In 1992, in the wake of rioting in Salford, which Mr Massey denied having anything to do with, he was branded the city's Mr Big by councillor Joe Burrows, which suggested the opposite in regards to his involvement. His family say he despised the label, and his daughter Lydia commented that Massey even looked into whether he could take legal action against the councillor. In 1999, Massey was sentenced to 14 years in prison for stabbing a man in the groin. In a move that showed his attitude towards his enemies, the stabbing took place during the same period he was being filmed for a part in a documentary in Manchester. The documentary was covering a lethal local feud which put unwanted national spotlight on Salford and aimed to bring insight to the effects of the war and personal accounts from people who were allegedly heavily involved. The first episode of New Crime, an investigation series, Killer Britain with Dermot Murnahan traced the war from its source to its terrifying end. The gangland dispute eventually involved guns, grenades, machetes, two murders and a number of shootings. Colin Sutton told the programme that these fights weren't just Sunday afternoon fights, these were proper gang wars. The dispute was between two Salford crime groups, one known as the A-Team and a faction which split from the A-Team, named the Antis. Several media outlets reported that Massey served as an important mediator between rival organised crime firms in Greater Manchester and was heavily involved in the feud as a result of providing this service. It was suspected that Massey was behind a racket in which pubs and clubs paid money to avoid their premises being trashed, accusations which his wife strongly denied in later interviews. Retired senior police officer, former Metropolitan Detective Clive Dorskull, however alleges Mr Massey set up and was operating protection rackets in his early 20s. Author and criminal underworld expert Bernard O'Mahony said Massey was employing security to pubs that didn't need security, and this was in an attempt to legitimise his security businesses, which would include security of nightclubs as well as commercial properties. Not only private contracts, one of the contracts undertaken by Massey's firm, PMS, involved guarding the building site where the Pendleton Police Station was under construction. In 2012, Following his 2007 release from Franklin Prison, Massey announced he was running for Mayor of Salford. He would eventually finish 7th out of 10 candidates. In the same year, he intervened after an elderly woman had her home ransacked by a burglar. He organised a collection to raise money to replace her furniture. Massey was seen by some as a Robin Hood figure as a result of this and similar actions. As the feud in Manchester continued, it was viewed by some that Massey was aligned to the A-Team and was reportedly a father figure to many of its members. His involvement in the feud will ultimately lead to his demise, when on the 26th of July 2015, Massey was shot dead outside his home on Manchester Road by a lone gunman. Mark Fellows, originally from Manchester, was later identified as the killer, with the official version of events accepted by a jury was that Mark Fellows murdered him using an Uzi submachine gun and dressed in military fatigues and ended up firing 18 bullets at Massey. An alternate motivation put forward for the death by Bernard O'Mahony suggested Mark Fellows was a drug dealer and got into a dispute with Massey. During an event in 2015, there was an attempt on Fellows' life at his home. The gun jammed and the attacker then fled, reportedly claiming that the attempt was at the request of Massey. This is a viable story, with Fellows allegedly saying, if you're going to try and kill me, I won't sit at home and wait for you to do it. I'm going to do you first. After his death, authorities in the Manchester area feared an escalation in gang violence. 
Manchester police believe that the shooting of a 29-year-old woman and a 7-year-old son were linked to retribution for Massey's killing. From January to December in 2015, there was a total of 19 shootings in Salford. On the 1st of June 2018, Fellows was charged with Massey's murder and also that of Massey's close friend, John Kinsella. The conspirators used PGP-equipped BlackBerry phones to coordinate the murder. This concludes the story of the rise and fall of Salford's Mr. Big, Paul Massey. Thank you for watching. Please like, subscribe and share.